morning guys. It's our second day in Dubai and somehow I've ended back in Dubai Mall. Like this wasn't intentional at all, but I just had um, a really nice breakfast catch up with my friend. And then um, JP's not quite ready yet. He's still doing laundry at his hotel. So um, she was like, where do you want me to drop you? I was like, oh, I don't know, I guess I'll get dropped back at the mall. I needed to exchange some um, currency so we got US dollars in cash for the rest of the flight. But um, yeah, now I'm just wandering around the mall and I'm, I don't think JP's around for a couple of hours. So despite spending the entire day here yesterday, I'm back here and no offense to this place because I mean, it's impressive, but this isn't really my vibe, like hanging around in shopping malls all day. So I need to go and try and find something to do with my time. Well guys, I didn't last long at the shopping center. I, uh, I had to get out of there to be honest. Um, I have just swung past to pick up a parcel. This is um, an essential thing for the plane. I think it's something to do with the oxygen system, which means we can fly at a higher altitude. Uh, and now I'm grabbing an Uber, going and uh, finding JP and grabbing some lunch, I think. All right, we just opened the package. And I didn't know this is what it was. I thought it was going to be like an oxygen mask, like like a. It's a mask because this is quite personal. Like yeah. once you've used it, it's yours. <laughs> so for you and. Uh... It just shoots oxygen up your nose, yeah. Yeah, you regulate it, so you have a a needle on here which you adjust, and then you have a regulator. And is this if we go up to like altitudes of like thirteen thousand or something? Basically, there have been times when we should be wearing it, should have been wearing it. Okay. But. Uh, Wow, this is like properly like when you're in an airliner and that you you imagine them like dropping down the front of you. Okay, guys, we've arrived at another shopping mall. Second shopping mall of the day to meet uh, my friend Hafer, who you saw last night and probably know from my previous vlogs. But anyway, she's just finished a meeting here. We're gonna grab some lunch to go. And then the plan is we're gonna drive into the desert and hopefully go on a little desert tour. Uh, and we're hoping to interview her from in her car while she's driving us there. So a bit of a different kind of style of interview. I'm just trying to call her now, but she's not picking up. So we need to find her first. It's kind of a crazy day today, because we're trying to juggle all these things. I don't know which way we're going. We're trying to juggle all these things, like trying to get to the desert, trying to do an interview with her, trying to make it all coincide. We need to get to the desert before the sun sets, and it's like setting super early right now. So hopefully we still will have time, but. The other thing, we didn't bring the right GoPro mounts to film, so we're hoping we can like fix a camera in the car somehow. We'll figure it out. Right, we're in the car, we just need to figure out how to mount this. We need to mount this camera like, I guess like, probably far further back. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah. And we need to move out. I think what makes us all uh, human and what we have in common is are the needs, the human needs. We all have the same human needs. We all want to feel loved, appreciated, and we all like to, ha you know, to eat and we all sleep. We're actually so much similar than we think in such a beautiful way. And I believe if we have anything different between us, it's just because it's interesting. Our differences are a blessing. So that's something I really believe in. We've parked up Hafer's Jeep and we are jumping in another uh, off-road vehicle and we're about to head into the desert. We're running a little bit late, but hopefully um, it's all gonna be good stuff. <laughs> right, we're just letting some air out the tires. It's better to drive in the sand. June bashing for sunset. How are you feeling, Hafer? I'm scared! <laughs> hanging out the window and I literally have got sand in my mouth. <laughs> A pleasure, pleasure, we gotta live the adventure, baby! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, is, that looks That's phenomenal. So cool. We parked up, perfect time to watch the sunset. 
Oh yeah. Yes, getting those epic photos. I'm gonna go there. Yeah? It's always a rush to get the photos. Especially here, like the sun sets so quickly, it doesn't give you much time to get them. Got some goodies of uh, JP walking on the mound. The wind is so good because it just everything's like flowing, all of your scarf and everything. That's fun, isn't it? Can you try it? No, no. Go come on, on go bro. On, come on, go on. I can't do that. Like, I'm... Just say, look, look, look. See, yeah, like, it's not... Try. No, no, just no, no, just no. let your tongue uh, nah. move right and left in your mouth. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> Again, Sorry? one, two, three. Yeah, la, 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 la. That was such a ridiculously quick sunset. Yeah. <laughs> it's disappeared yeah. like that. I feel like it, it was, it's golden now for like two hours. Yeah. Really? Not here, not on the equator, when you're near the, near the equator. If you're like up in the northern hemisphere or southern hemisphere. I think it definitely is here though, because Ooh. of the smoke. Oh right, yeah, maybe, yeah. Like it was, it was gold now for a long time. We just, we were just today. Oh, I'm, I'm literally covered in sand. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are going to be in a total different place tomorrow. This is so empty, but tomorrow is going to be busy in India. Yeah. How do you find India? Oof, I love India. It's so vibrant and colorful and India on its own is like a huge continent. I've been to the north and to the south and they're very, very different. I haven't been to the south yet. Kerala, Kerala. You haven't to Kerala? No. Oh, it's so amazing. You, you taught us some Arabic last time I was here. Teach yeah, us some Yeah, do you remember any word? I remember, uh, sal uh, uh, salam. Salam. No, salam yeah. alaikum. Salam alaikum. Which and means? I remember shukran. Shukran. And uh, yala yala. Yala yala. Hurry up, hurry up. Okay, so today let's learn what love means in Arabic. It's called hope. Hope. Yeah. Hope. Hope. Like. Hope. It's like oh, you're giving hub. a kiss, but a word. Hope. 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 Yeah, that means love. And how's it spelled? Uh, H O B. Oh, okay. If you want to spell it in English. Hope. Hope. We may be stuck in the sand. <laughs> but we can just sleep here tonight. Don't worry about it. Oops. I think he's. Uh. Shy. <laughs> he's used to it. He's just. Is he just figuring his way out? This could be serious. <laughs> no. Oh, we hit a quite big gene there. I think he needs a hand. Oh. Woo! Okay. Are we are we stuck? It's a very bad situation. Do you need some help? Another car to go. Bad news, guys. What? We're stuck. He's like, we need another car. Yeah, for sure. Really, we're stuck? He said we're in a really bad situation. Wow, let's have a sand party. <laughs> <laughs> See if you can use your Namibian skills, JP. He's in a ditch, basically, look. Uh, it's pinned both ways. It's yeah. pinned. We're stuck, aren't we? This isn't ideal, guys. We're, um, we're in the middle of the desert and we're, we're stuck. The car is, is wedged both sides, back and front. We're digging, yeah? Okay. Yeah, we can dig that. Okay, I'm gonna join in. 
Yay, so I'm filming. I wanted to help though, but it's all in my eyes. <laughs> we need a gap. Yeah. They're getting, you know, literally like sunbathed, uh, I mean sand bathed before they go to India. <laughs> what if we let them us? I think we we push. Yeah, pal. Uh, yeah. Wow. Oh wow, I can't believe we're out. Wow. Yeah. You were amazing. Hey, hey! Congrats! We made it out of the sand! Well, that is teamwork. Yay! Hey. Really guys, I helped so much. I feel so tired. Well, you're, you're the core part of this team. <laughs> you're the motivational. Oh, JP, give everyone a bit of background of why you're so experienced with getting vehicles out of tight situations. I, I I grew up in Namibia, like backcountry. Well, like desert driving is very common. <laughs> like similar to this. Yeah, and you just grow up with your dad having a big four x four and all kitted out and go on adventures, camping adventures. So I just yeah, I don't want to sound like a know it all though. But no, like a few of you were giving JP a bit of a hard time when we were in Iceland, and he was saying how he would have got that vehicle out of the, uh, the snow. But he does know what he's talking about, that's the difference. Yeah, he does. He's, he's, not like a, he's not just like a know-it-all that doesn't really know it all, he does know it all. So. I know nothing about women, so... <laughs> and I don't claim to know anything about women. We could do a whole series, Haifa teaches us about women. Yeah, exactly, we can do that. I can tell you so many things. It's pretty simple, uh, not... Uh, yes. <laughs> women no are way. simple? No. Those two words do not go together. But wait guys, I need to tell you something so important and so cute. Yeah. Louis, I'm gonna expose something. Uh, okay. Give me your phone. <laughs> what? Yeah. Something incredibly cute. And if like my guy did this for me, <laughs> I would feel so good. So girls are like, sometimes it's just a small stuff that would mean a lot. Like this. So, <laughs> it's Raya's picture on the background. Oh, that yeah. That is so cute. Oh, yeah, let me show That's you this. It's really amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I saw, basically, this is from, this is from a snap. No, this is from an Instagram story where I was doing the other day and I just thought she looked so beautiful. Oh, I, I screenshotted it and put it as my background. Even I thought it was cute when I saw you do it. <laughs> and I had to go for up. <laughs> Haifa just said we should get coconuts. I thought you meant just like the juice, like in a bottle. No. Real, real fresh coconuts. Thank you. Where did they come from? Oman. Oman? Salala. I think we're kind of next to Oman. Mm. I had no idea. I was just driving. This is my favorite personal hangout place in Dubai, this place. Uh, it's called Galleria Mall and it has really cool restaurants. And I just love the vibe, the vibe here. And I try to hold my meetings here if I want to meet a friend. It's just so positive. I like it. Have I been here before? No. No? We didn't get you here yet. Okay, next time. Yeah. So I just had a really fun evening with my friend Bin Baz. Uh, totally forgot to film it, I'm sorry. Uh, but tonight's a very special night. I'm just about to head to the airport and pick up JC. He is, uh, as I said yesterday, a uh, incredible cinematographer. He's gonna be joining for at least a couple of weeks to help film for the documentary. Uh, and he's about to land, so I better, I better head now. And um, yeah, I'm really excited for him to join us on this next few legs of the trip and create some stunning content. Um, yeah, so you'll meet him in a minute. Guys, I found him. He just got off his flight. Where did you come from? Uh, Marseille, France. Oh, Marseille? Yeah. Okay. I was, I was thinking it was Paris, but Marseille, okay. And uh, how long are you joining for? Do you know yet? Do we know yet? Maybe two weeks, yeah. maybe even more, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun. So, welcome to my friend's house. We're sharing a room, I just need to throw the mattress on the floor and then... Right, we're back for the night. The plan tomorrow is we're actually gonna chill a bit now. And um, JP messaged me tonight saying, because of complications in India and stopping the amount of times that we were planning to, we may actually be now diverting to Pakistan for a couple of days before we go to India, which is pretty cool. Sweet, catch in the morning. Peace out, enjoy life, live the adventure. Boom.